if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. your girl miracle sins and you are listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration and juice it is february the 17th 2022 and today the topic is unnecessary division good morning everyone (laughs) i hope that you all had a wonderful wednesday mine was just fine um yeah, man, uh, it's already Thursday, right? It's already Thursday. Um, not too, too much to report from yesterday. Just uh, um, I recorded an episode of GSM. Um, what else? Again, I've been feeling like I've been tired the past few days, y'all. Again, I, I blame it on possibly because I know that, you know, I had to film yesterday. Today, I got to work with the students this evening. Yesterday, it was also a workout day. So, you know, um, so yeah, pretty much after the juice, I was just trying to get that rest, um, get as much rest as I could so I could have the energy to push through with the rest of the things I had to do. So, yeah, that's what's going on with that. Shout out to my guy, Sammy, over in Pakistan, man. He's over there really helping out my mom. Um, you know, get some things together for her event this weekend. Y'all know the event, right? Do I have to tell you guys again? Inspirational Outreach is hosting the African Valentine's Gala. And, um, yeah, man, I've seen some of the gift baskets and whatnot that are being given. And, um, yeah, yeah, you guys, it, it's a, it's an awesome organization to you know, support and everything like that. So check them out. Inspirational Outreach on Facebook, y'all. Um, and yes, like I said, shout out to Sammy for being that guy. You know what I'm saying? He's out there, you know, helping my mom in a beautiful way. And I truly, truly appreciate him. I just wanted to give that shout out to him this morning. Um, yeah, man. Um, well, y'all know that tomorrow's Friday and that we have a new episode of God, Sex, and Love, the talk show that's going to be coming out. Also, be on the lookout for a new segment coming out on Saturday as well. Um, maybe I'll tell you all a little bit more about that later. But uh, I can't remember my guest's name oh, that's coming on um, this on tomorrow. But, I mean, it should be on our social media, y'all. Y'all know how to find me, Actress Miracle Sims. So, yeah, you should be able to see our guest information there or any of you know, the actress Miracle Sims things. Um, my apologies, but yeah, I just do not remember, remember his name at the moment. Um, yeah, so my apologies for that. But anywho, so let's get into the juice, y'all. Let's get into the juice. So technically this morning, you know, I did my prayer meditation and everything like that. Um, but before I got into the prayer meditation, like when I woke up and I was like trying to make myself wake up and I just was scrolling on social media, um... I came across this post and it, it was like this, um, it's like one of those vintage videos. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but without getting into the details of who it was and all of that, um, let's just say it was a Caucasian man and an African American woman and they were singing a song. They were singing, um, like different actually lullabies and, um, different types of like nursery rhyme type songs and the post uh the caption on the post was like oh the woman or the black woman outshine this man in this performance and i'm looking at this performance and you know it was nice you know what i'm saying they were singing together and it just was this you know beautiful collaboration um yet the caption was like really puffing her up above him now 
again, I'm, I, you know, I'm all for, you know, celebrating people and their skill and whatnot. But goodness, the question that came into my mind was like, why did this have to be like that? Like, why couldn't it have just been what an awesome collaboration between these two individuals? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did they have to be, oh, she, she blew him out the water. She's oh so much better than him. Like, why? Why the unnecessary division? And for me, for me, that just kind of like furthers these narratives that that divide us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, goodness, okay, I get it. Like, I get that, you know, again, as an African-American, you know, I, I understand where some of this comes from, the conflict, you know, the oppression and, and suppression and all these different things, right? But I just feel like I personally see, especially with social media, it's like I, I personally see a lot of this whole we're over here and we're great and we're this and we're that and we're, you know, um, and minimizing others in the process. And it's like, okay, now again, I, can, I don't know, right? I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I can't say that you know, the information that's being shared is inaccurate. Like, for example, you know, I know, obviously, it's Black History Month, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's a lot that comes out about different inventors and different things that have been done by African-American people. And I get it. That, I, you know, ain't nothing wrong with celebrating that, just like you celebrate anybody else, you know what I'm saying? And I get the, the reason and everything. But I just, I just feel like it's just so much. You know what I mean? And it's like always this elephant in the room, as they would say. Like it's always this thing of like us versus them and, and all of that. And it's just like goodness, like why? <laughs> you know, it's like why at the end of the day. Um, you know, does that, that, like I saw an equal amount of talent. Like, okay, one was a man, one was a woman, you know, one was caucasian one was african-american but they both sang beautifully they it worked well together they were collaborating and it was a beautiful blend it wasn't like you know it just was a, a clear distinction between oh he just was horrible and she just was amazing it, it wasn't anything like that it, at least to me you know i didn't look at it in that way it looked like a, a, a nice even collaboration to me for example so um so I don't, that was ultimately one of the things that, that led me to go deeper about this idea of division. So when I started to look up division, um, the majority of the verses that I was looking up or that I came across, it was kind of talking about the division of the church and, you know, and everything like that. Um, I'm not necessarily talking about that at the moment. Again, everybody can go deeper with that. You guys can look up those verses for yourself if that's something that you need to go deeper about. But, um, and I was almost going to talk about that, you know, or whatever, but I still think focusing on what I'm talking about at the moment, um, is important. So, so yeah, um, I feel like now, now there's sometimes maybe perhaps some necessary division. I feel like, you know, what the Bible says about Christ dividing us, that perhaps is a necessary division, you know, um, again, I've seen you know, the verses about division and it's saying, you know, it just reiterates the idea that, hey, you know, the body of Christ should not be divided and any thing that's divided against itself is going to fall, right? And so, um, you know, that type of thing. Again, it's a, that's a different topic, but like that's something else. <laughs> um, however, that is what I started to look up this morning. And so eventually I just went, I just decided to look up verses and sit around the elephant in the room, which is the word racism. Now, I know that it's probably going to be touchy, right? Because some people, they, they think of a certain thing, like when they hear the word racism, they like they only think about, you know, uh, I guess what happened here in America, you know? Um, but I say, according to the word of God, <laughs> I say that um, any nation or group or whatever that is puffing themselves up above some other group well hey i'm gonna show you show you what the bible got to say about it so it won't be like miracle says something 
<laughs> I'm just going to show you the verses that I found this morning when I looked them up, <laughs> when I looked it up about uh, racism. So Acts 17 and 26, it says, and he made from one man, every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth. Having determined allotted periods and boundaries of their dwelling place. So, from one man, <laughs> every nation of mankind was created. Now again, uh, this is not going to make sense to people that don't believe in the creation theory, right? <laughs> um, you know, and I, I guess that's probably where some of this comes from, right? If you don't believe that we were all created, right, and that Adam was first, and then Eve, and then everybody else from them, then, I mean, yeah, you probably would be one of those people that put differences between me and you, him and her, black and white, orange and blue, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, because then you don't, you don't get the bigger picture that, you know, hey, God created all of us. So, that's just something to think about there. Let's keep going. Um, John 7 and 24 says, do not judge by appearances. But judge with right judgment. And we talked about judgment yesterday, right? We talked about judgment yesterday. Now, um, granted, now we were talking about God judging us, but, you know, not necessarily us judging us. But I did mention that, you know, there is some form of judgment that we have for one another, you know, if you're in Christ. And, and again, that's something else, so we ain't got to touch on that too much here. But what I'm saying is, what it says here is, do not judge by appearances. Now, if we stop right there, we know that we do that all the time. We do it all the time. <laughs> um, all day, every day. You know what I mean? Um, I, should we? According to this, no, we should not. But do we do it? Yeah, we as humans do that all the time. And... How does that benefit us at the end of the day is my question. Again, like did, what, what does it matter that in regards to the post this morning, right? Like again, an equal amount of talent, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't anything that was like, you know, oh, this person was so much better than this other person. And even if it was that, like what does it benefit us to show that or, or point that out in a way where it's just pitting us against each other? You know, um, I'm just telling y'all what the Bible says here and, and I guess equating it or like, I guess hopefully helping us to see what this actually looks like in our lives. Because again, unnecessary division for what, how does this benefit us at all? Romans 2 and 11 for God shows no partiality. I think we talked about this yesterday too. Um, and I mean, obviously there's verses. It's one in the Golden procession that talks about, you know, there's no Jew, no Greek, no man, no woman. Like everybody's the same in Christ Jesus. So, and if it says here again that God shows no partiality, then who are we to be constantly showing all this partiality? But again, again, um, and I was talking about this yesterday in the show that we recorded. Um, that, you know, it's just one of those things that anything that the Bible say, you know, the world is going to push the opposite narrative. So the Bible says don't show partiality. The narrative is always show partiality. My, my group against yours, this nation against this nation, you know, all of this. Um, that's what gets pushed and that's what's like always shared in life. And um, I think we should question that. You know, I think we should question that. Um, I'm going to keep going here. Uh, do, 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 do. Romans 10 and 12. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. You know, hey. Y'all know John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever <laughs> believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's for everybody. 
everybody. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it does not matter. It, race doesn't matter. <laughs> Male or female, that doesn't matter. When it comes to this, right, when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to God, it says here, he's going to bestow his riches on all who call on him. So that's what's going to be the distinction at the end of the day. That's the only distinction. According to the Bible, according to what I read. Now, I'm not, you know, I didn't write it. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just telling you what I'm reading. And, um... Again, I think we should reflect on that. I think we should, you know, this is how we should live. Like, this is what we should live according to. Because, again, um, you know, I, yeah, I mentioned my, my brother over in Pakistan, Sammy, this morning. Um, and I, I know I've talked about this before, but, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things where it's like, man, like, how much more we could get done if we just cut out that part. You know what I mean? Like, if I was over here in America looking at people in Pakistan and haven't met one, right? And haven't met no Pakistan people, right? <laughs> but just because this guy's from Pakistan and I, and I believe whatever narratives are being said about people in Pakistan, I would probably be somebody that was like, oh, well, you know what? I'm not going to work with people in Pakistan because, you know, X, Y, and Z, because I heard what the news t tell me about the people in Pakistan. And then at the end of the day, all of these things that you see GSL got going on, me personally, books, whatever, all these things that you see would not probably have happened when they did. And that's just the honest truth. If, if I show partiality, right, if I show some type of racism or favoritism or whatever the case is uh, to come against my brother over there in Pakistan, you know what I'm saying? And he's been such a great help to, to me, my family, um, you know, he's introduced me to another guy, guy that has been such a great help to us. You know, um, again, so many other people around the world that I'm working with, um, that it has nothing to do with their race or who they are. It's just, Hey, and I get that, you know, maybe it's business, you know, um, you know, but still, so, Let's not pretend like we don't we don't operate like that. Like we not out here showing partiality and and unnecessary division. Oh, I'm not gonna work with that group based on what I think about them or what I've been told about them or whatever the case is. And then it's like you holding up your own blessings at the end of the day, you know, um, and whatever else that you know things that you could be building for the kingdom, you know, the kingdom of God. <laughs> um, is just stagnant. I got another verse to share with y'all. <laughs> it's James 2 and 9. It says, but if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are converted. I believe that's what it is. <laughs> By the law as trespassers. Oh, convicted. There it is. Convicted by the law as trespassers. I'll read it again. But if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. <laughs> That's the juice, y'all. That's the juice. That might be the bitter pope right there. Y'all didn't want to hear that. You want to show your partiality. You want to keep the unnecessary division. You want to believe that it's cool to be hers versus him, us versus them, all of that. Like that, we want to believe that that's all right, but it's not. <laughs> and, and honestly, that's what's holding up growth for the kingdom. So, the Bible verse of today is <laughs> Second Thessalonians three and three. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you. From <laughs> keep you from something. <laughs> hey, look, look, stay humble, miracle, stay humble. <laughs> uh, and keep you from something. I do not know what this last word is. So my apologies, y'all, but y'all can look it up. Second Thessalonians, Thessalonians 3 and 3. But hey, y'all, that's the juice. That is the Bible verse of the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed the juice this morning. Uh, thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. 
I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Hello, Charmers. Visit ttcboutique.com for the latest in fashion and accessories. Twice the Charm, the source of women clothing.